Step 5. Safe landing with a block needle on the transverse process. Set your finger stoppers at the SLD that was previously determined with the ultrasound or search needle. Insert the needle perpendicular to all planes and direct the block needle slightly cranially. Land on bone and adjust the needle tip position if needed. The needle must be stable and not slide off the TP. Set the safe landing distance and land the block needle on the TP. After landing on the TP, set the initial advancement distance about 1 cm from the skin. It is not uncommon for novices to have trouble setting the correct angle. The seesaw principle helps with this task. It may take practice to get the angle correct on the first try. Knowing the SLD will prevent you from a lung injury if your trajectory is wrong and you can still perform safe landing quickly and safely. Set the angle based off the seesaw principle and advance the needle toward the TP. If your trajectory is correct, you should land on the TP at a depth a little less than the SLD. If your trajectory is wrong, you will not feel the bone under the needle, even if your fingers that are set at the SLD are flush with the skin. But do not worry, because if you do not advance the needle past the SLD, you will not injure the lung. Just pull the needle back and adjust the trajectory. During this first pass, the needle did not land on the TP, despite advancing the needle the whole SLD distance. This was due to incorrect trajectory. We landed on the TP after correcting our trajectory for the second pass. It is common for novices to overestimate the required cranial angulation when trying to land on the TP. However, it is wise to set a less steep angle as for some times you may land directly on the TP. Or if you go below the TP, you just have to increase the angulation slightly up on your next pass, as seen in the previous video.